Land. The star. Well, that aside, what did Jonas just do again? It's just incredible. I know I've said incredible so many times, but Jonas Vingegaard here on stage 18 of the Tour de France replicates history, wins another day in winning on Hotekam. Bjarne Ries at home must be absolutely happy, elated about this. But yeah, what actually happened on the stage? We saw Jonas Vingo and Jan Bovisma. They were going to basically be brought, the, the challenge was being brought by UAT Memorates after we saw Brendan Wignolti doing such an incredible day yesterday by UAT Memorates. We have to remember that the numbers are depleted. We don't have Mark Soleil. We don't have George Bennett. We didn't have Rafa Maika either. Three very key riders for Tadabagacha. So it was a very wounded UAE team Emirates side. But on the flip side, Roglic isn't here. Steven Kreuzvik, etc. But in the early day, we had a breakaway stand up the road, which crucially had Tish Benut and Wat Benat up there. So that was quite interesting, having those two strong riders up there, not available for the riders. But... Tadabagacha, we know he attacked plenty of times, got rid of, well, most of the field apart from Jonas Vingo. Jonas Vingo responded to every single attack on the second, the penultimate climb of the day. Everyone tried to get, well, he tried to get rid of Jonas Vingo. Nothing was budging. Even when Tis Benut was dropping down past him, made sure that that uh, Tis Benut wasn't going to help him. Then on the final descent, unfortunately for Tadabagacha, well, first, we had a bit of a wobble for Jonas Vingo, and we could see Tarugacha was accelerating as this happened, and Jonas Vingo lost a few bike lengths. But when you look at it from the angle again, you can see Tarugacha didn't realize that Jonas was in trouble and waited for him. And then moments later, Tarugacha unfortunately hit some gravel and fell and cut himself. But you have to admit, the way that Tarugacha fell, he could have sustained a lot more damage. So it was damage limitation for Tarugacha. But then we were joined with Sepp Kuss, guiding them all the way up. Then eventually Sepp Kuss dropped off. Wout Van Aert, who was placed brilliantly up the road. It looked like it was going to be a selfish move, but it definitely was a tactical genius, having such a strong rider available for Jonas Vingo. And suddenly we had this pattern of green leading yellow, leading white, like three biggest jerseys of the race. The only one missing down the road, Simon Geschke with the polka dot jersey. But wow absolutely wow no shall we say wow on the national day of belgium but that was it wasn't it what we not managed to just crack tarabagacha and then we had it the moment everyone had been waiting for tarabagacha looked invincible in the 2021 tour de france and now finally on the 2022 tour de france he was cracked on the col de granon and now here on the hood come incredible fighting from tarab gacha he was showing every single ounce of a champion as we've seen he's definitely going to come back next year but jonas vingegaard then just had a clear run all the way to the top managed to take the victory historic victory kissing to the crowd and what a win for the young Dane. This is incredible to think. We said it in the Col de Granon video, remember? He's come from, well, not nowhere, but he's had this gradual build-up. It's second ever Tour de France. He did that incredible pull in the Anglerou, which really put him kind of on the map for the Jombo Visma team. Roglic complimenting him on that front. And then getting selected for the Tour de France in 2021 managing to, well, unfortunately, Roglic had his bad luck, and then Jonas Vingegaard managing to step up to the plate. And we know what he's done here. So Jonas Vingegaard, there's, I've run out of things to say. It's, yeah, he, he hasn't, well, officially he hasn't won it, but also because he took the win in the yellow jersey, which is an incredible feat in its own right. We haven't seen him win in the yellow jersey. Remember, it's his first ever time in this position. He's never led a Grand Tour before this year, which is, yeah, imagine that first of Grand Tour that you're leading. It's the one you start in, in Denmark as well, the big Grand Depart in Denmark. Of course, he was touched by the crowd shouting, Vinga Gol, Vinga Gol, Vinga Gol. And uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's what you would have thought here. But in terms of the stage, you finished one minute and four seconds ahead of Tadbukacha, finished two minutes and 10 seconds ahead of his teammate, Wat Van Aert, in the green jersey. So that in itself is quite remarkable. But even more remarkable was that Simon Geschke was the polka dot jersey winner. But because Jonas Vingor swept up the mountains points as he did, that means he actually takes 
the polka dot jersey as well. For, so for our third time in a row, the yellow jersey winner is also going to win the polka dot jersey. So, so it's going to be the first winner for Denmark since 1996, we hope. And then he's going to be the first wearer of the polka dot jersey since Michael Rasmussen. And obviously I'm wearing the CSC kit to pay homage to some sort of Danish history. But Jonas Vingegaard has absolutely ridden a blinder. We didn't think it when we look back on the circus that was stage five, where the Jumbo Visma team was struggling to find a bike for him. But here we are, stage 18. He's sitting far up in the GC now, three minutes and 26 seconds ahead of Tadej Pogacar. Garan Thomas is in third place, eight minutes behind. David Godou fought his way up into fourth place, 11 minutes and five seconds. But look at that, all the way down to 10th, which is Adam Yates, 20 minutes, 20 minutes and 17 seconds. That just shows you how strong Tadej Pogacar and Jonas Vingol have been. Just a league of their own. Like the race today, it made you think of Alberto Contador made you think of Andy Slake, that rivalry. And then we saw the wobble. There was a bit of a bike distance. Immediately, you're pressing the button. Chain gate, chain gate. But Tad Bogaccia waited up. But something I didn't add before, when Tad Bogaccia had his crash, we saw the sportsmanship, the respect between the two. There's no better role models right now than these two. They waited up for each other. Jonas Vingegaard waited up for Tad Bogaccia. He respected the fact that he's a two-time Tour de France champion and just an all-round nice guy and perfect role model for Slovenian cycling, world cycling. But uh, yeah, Jonas Vingegaard with some brilliant team tactics today as well. We've questioned it a few times, whether they've played it the right way. What Vinat has seemed sometimes as a bit of a loose cannon, not in terms of personality, et cetera, et cetera, but just the way he's been so aggressive this year's Tour de France. And it's such a shame you feel in a way that you waste this great asset having it. Well, he's basically shown up the green jersey. So instead of having him aid Jonas Vingol, having waste his fuel up the road. But nevertheless, this isn't it for Jonas Vingol. It's not over. There's a time trial still to go. We know Jonas Vingol is a good time trialist. That's for sure. He's one of the better ones in terms of the GC. How does he fare against Tadej Gacha? It's 40.7 kilometers. And you would have thought three minutes and 26 seconds is enough of a buffer. But we've seen mechanicals, we've seen stuff go wrong before. So it's not over. It's definitely not over until the fat lady sings. And we have to wait until Paris for that, of course. So, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Uh, we might as well leave it how we started. Denmark in the yellow jersey once again. This golden generation with Jonas Vingegaard. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> what is there to say? in the Grand Depart of Denmark in the Tour de France. We were all so excited for it. And now we might actually cap this Tour de France off with a yellow jersey win for the first time since 1996. So of course, with that, make sure to let me know down below what you thought of Jonas Vingor's victory. Like the video as well and subscribe as we just passed 25,000. So to all of you, thank you very much for watching. And of course, have a nice day.